Hello friends, in my this particular video, I am going to discuss one of the very interesting problem from lit code and that is bulls and cows. Okay, the problem is you are playing the following bulls and cows game with your friend. You write down a number and ask your friend to guess what the number is. Okay, each time your friend makes a guess, you provide a hint that indicates how many digits in said guess match your secret number exactly in both the digits as well as position called bulls and how many digits match the secret number by but locate in wrong position is called cows your friend will use successive guesses and hints to eventually derive the secret number write a function to return a hint according to the secret number and friends guess use a to indicate bulls and b to indicate cows please note that both secret number and friends guess may contain duplicate digits if you are unable to understand this problem statement try to read two or three times and watch the test cases also sample test cases also so that you can get a hint what the problem we have to solve suppose for the particular example secret is Suppose my secret number which I have chosen randomly that is 1807 and my friend's guess is 7810 then output should be 1A3B. Why? Because if you see 1 and 7 mismatch so first mismatch 8 and 8 matching so matching means bulls so 1A. Why A? Because A is used to indicate bulls so 1A is done now 0 and 1 not matching, 7 and 0 not matching. But if you observe, in my friend's guest number, 7 is present, here also 7 is present, but in different location. Here also 1 is present, in this secret number also 1 is present. Here 0 is present, in this secret number also 0 is present, but in different location. So this 7, 0 and 1 are uh, present in guest number as well as secret number but in different location. So those are cows. So 3 cows. So 1A, 3B is our output. Same goes for this particular example test case where you can see 1123 is my number and guest friend's guest number is 0111. Now if you see only this second one is matching in exact same position. So 1A, 1 bull. And cows how many? See, in my friend's guess number only zeros and one are there and in my original number two, one, one, two and uh, one, three is present. So only this particular first one can be matched with other two ones in this guess number. So only one cow. So one A, one B is my output. Okay, you may assume that this secret number and your friend's guess one contain digits and their length is always equal. This is given as condition. So try to think about one algorithm and try to solve it. Uh, if you uh, are not getting the answer, no need to worry, here I am explaining. So what I will do here, I will follow a simple algorithm, but listen it carefully, I am explaining. Suppose this is my number which I have guessed randomly, which I have uh, taken in my mind. And this is my friend's guest number. Now bulls mean exactly at same location if it is matching. And cows means if it is not matching, if it, it, if it is matching but not in the same location. So what we will do, we will traverse from the beginning to the end of our two input strings. These numbers are given as a string in the question. And if matching is there, exactly caret i uh, for the first string is equal to caret i of the second string, then we will increment our bulls. Otherwise, the non-matching things we will store in two different hash map, okay? So what I will do, see, I am traversing from beginning to the end. So first, define bulls as zero. Now, what I will do, see first one, one and seven, mismatch. So what we will do, bulls equal to zero only, it will be there. But uh, for secret, one hash map I have created and for the guess number, I have created another hash map. So see, 1 is coming as it is not matching 1 and 7. So I will store that in my hash map. So 1 and frequency is also 1. 
7 it is appearing for the first time so 1 okay that is number or character and the frequency i am storing in my hash map now second character matching so pulse will be 1 third character 0 and 1 not matching store that so 0 frequency is 1 and 1 frequency is 1 next 7 here appearing and 0 here appearing mismatch so bulls will not be incremented but we will put the frequency of 7 as 1 and the frequency of 0 as 1 in my guess number suppose again here 0 comes and here suppose uh, suppose randomly I'm taking 7 comes then again mismatch but here whether we will add again no we will here 0 mismatch so we will increment this 0 and here 7 is there so we have to put 7 in the case number so where we will put 7 as 2 okay so like this that is the frequency we will store if it is mismatch then we will store the frequencies that's what i want to say now when we have this particular picture what we will do after iteration itself we can get the bulls number but how to get the count uh, cows number what we will do we will extract the keys of the guest number and we will check whether that particular key is present in the hash map of the secret number and if it is present if the frequency is sufficient to match that if it is that in that case we will add in cows variable so what we will do we will define one cows equal to zero variable now our guest number has the uh, uh, key as 7 1 and 0 now first we will take the 7 7 is present in the secret number as key yes it is present as 7 so what is the frequency 1 and what is its frequency 1 so 1 1 matching so cows will be incremented with the value 1 then 1 as the key so 1 is present in the secret number 1 so 1 plus 1 it will be 2 and then 0 0 is also present so it will be 3 so 1 bull and 3 cows we can get suppose I have here two zeros and here one zero present so my guess number can only match one zero because other zero is not present in my guess number so in that case i have to return the minimum of these two values rather you can think like this suppose i have three zeros in the guess number and two zeros in the secret number then in that case also i need to require i my requirement is only matching two zeros so i will add the minimum of these two zeros so always take the minimum value of the two hash map so that is the simple algorithm so here i have written the algorithm uh, written the code class solution and public string get hint string secret string guess i have created two hash map storing the character and the integer as frequency which are not matching then int bull equal to zero then i am traversing in my string any string you can take because both have same length so for int i equal to 0 i less than secret dot length i plus plus if secret dot caret i equal to equal to uh, guess dot caret i that means matching at the same location so bulls plus plus else if it is not matching then we are storing that in the hash map as frequency method as we do generally if a dot contains key secret dot caret i in temp equal to a dot get secret dot caret i that means we are taking the frequency we are incrementing that by one and then we are again putting that if it is not present it is if it is new then we are putting that as frequency of one same goes for the second has map for the guess string that is if b dot contents key guess dot caret i equal to uh, that is contents in that case we will extract the frequency and we will increment and again put if it is not present we will put as a new uh, okay so b dot put guess dot caret i comma one okay all right now no need to print so what i am doing now i will take all the uh, keys of my uh, second hash map and then in cows equal to zero to store the cows frequencies and i am using one for each loop and I am checking whether that particular uh, mm, uh, that particular key of the guess uh, string has map uh, is present in A or not. If it is present, then we are extracting both the values from both the has map, and then we are adding the minimum of them in the cows variable as a, as I have shown you in the algorithm. If tg greater than mg then cows equal to cows plus mg, else cows equal to cows plus tg. That is stored minimum one then 
make as a whole string integer dot to string bools because bools was in integer so i have to convert into string plus a to denote the bools and then convert cows to string and then d to denote the cows that's what we have to return so now if i do the submit button let us check whether our yeah see here it is successfully accepted all the test cases has been successfully passed okay so i hope you have understood the algorithm i am going to post the same code in the comment section if you want you can check there thank you for watching